In this video, I will show you a simple way how you can do the Vertigo zoom effect in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. So we go to DaVinci Resolve here and I have a drone shot. So how it works is you have a drone shot that is moving forward. And what we do is we now do digitally do a zoom. And the cool thing about DaVinci Resolve is that this zoom, we can now actually do it very simple with dynamic zoom. So if you don't have the dynamic zoom, you would just go in here into the inspector and you would actually say at the beginning, you would say you start somewhere around like, let's say just on purpose, do it here, set a keyframe, and then in the end, go back to where it was. Just this opposite movement so one camera moves there and the zoom is moving out is actually creating the zoom in effect so if we now hit play you see now that it's already making the same movement but i show you a faster way how you can do this so let's reset all of this we have an option here in the inspector that is called dynamic zoom if you click this one and you activate this and you go now here to the settings you have now here a setting the third icon and this is the two boxes here the green box is your starting point the red box is your ending point. So you don't have to set any keyframes anymore. We could just say, for example, okay, I want to start, let's say here. Um, let's go more in here. Let's say here. And the red box should finish here. Let's, let's look how it looks. We hit play and boom, you have your vertigo zoom effect. And to make everything a little bit more smooth, you can also right click here and then say, for example, ease in and out. So that means that we have a more dynamic flow from the beginning and the end, and it just will look more smoother. So if we hit play, and this is a very simple way how you can use the dynamic zoom to create the vertigo zoom effect. I hope you liked this video. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding a the bang bang gong, and we'll see us in the next video. I'm Daniel, bye.